didn't have the, uh, last time I came through here, I didn't have the M9. see me if I ran up there to this house, so. <clears throat> hmm. He's near Stillman. I think I'm a little ahead of the game now. So I am going to drag him over here. I'm going to wake him up and I'm going to get his dog tags. Take out his radio because I fucked this up. Uh, don't kill me. All right, cool. Oh. Got his dog tag, which brings me up to thirteen. Uh, what was I looking for? Ration. Okay. He's knocked out. All the of these guys had to do uh, sit reps with hire, so. I'm gonna wake this guy up. No, 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 no! God damn it. Go back. I wasn't done. He'll still be asleep. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drag him. Yeah, I think what would be interesting would be to uh, play a playthrough with no tranquilizers, no nothing, and try to minimize your kills. I think that would be an interesting playthrough. But if you did that, you'd have to also uh, have to be on a non-dog tag run because you would get caught. So, <clears throat> trying to hold people up. Getting this close to people. There you go. Alright, now we can go. Alright. Um, there's the cipher. Okay, so it's just a cipher. See if I can drill this guy with the uh, the SOCOM. I'm glad I got suppressor on this now, so when I get to those areas that have ciphers and fucking uh, that has drones and guards, I can uh, take them out silently. Actually, I could have just done this. I think I have uh, guys that need to get their dog tags in here. I don't think any of those guys report. I just gotta find where this guy's at. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Freeze! <gasps> there you go. Uh. No, 
Alright, got his dog tag. Let's get up here. Already froze that bomb. Get that one. Get your dog tag real quick. Freeze! Huh? Uh, don't kill me. I'm glad these guys are cooperative. Oh. Alrighty. So that brings us up to 16. I get these two on the bridge. So that's going to be a trank job. I know we didn't get these guys at all yet. Wait for this guy to come back. This is also the uh, the loud floor that it will prevent me from sneaking up on him. So we want to trank him first. Let's get behind him. Alrighty, we can just wake up to that. Freeze! Huh? What are you? Oh, you want to do that, huh? Okay. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! You are lucky. I'm trying to not kill right now. Because usually. When I, I when I play this game, I admittedly when somebody tries to get tough with me like that, I usually shoot them in the fucking balls. I'm not kind when they challenge me. Let's see if this guy wants to be shot in the balls. Freeze! Well, I'm not gonna shoot him in the balls. I'm trying to, have to kill him. Are you going to shoot me? Because both these guys got attitudes. <laughs> I mean, when they wake up, they're uncompromising. Ah, uh, you are so lucky I'm trying to do a no-kill playthrough and that counts as no-kill. It's Batman logic. I can cause grievous damage to your body, but, uh... Killing, that's that's evil. We don't, we don't kill here. Uh, so that brings my dog tags up to 18 now. 18's good. I think we got this guy's dog tags. It's the other guy inside the, uh, he might be on the roof. Freeze! <gasps> you got dog tags for me? Nope. There's one in there, though. You have nine? Thank you. And there's silicon bullets over here. Or maybe it's over here. Oh, who cares? Let's drag this guy over here. We'll get this guy's uh, dog tags. And then we gotta do this whole convoluted deal to get his fucking, uh, the bomb. Come on, I got the silicon bullets out of there. Alright. Yeah, I know he's here. I heard him. Oh, there he is. Let him get closer. That's exactly where I wanted him. Alright, now where's the camera? Camera's over there. Let's hope they don't fucking call for backup. I'm gonna drag this guy over here real quick. Alrighty. 
Let's get his dog tag. <clears throat> Freeze! Huh? Uh. Don't kill me. All right, good. That's for 19. Alrighty. I just want to leave him there. He ain't going. Oh! I don't know. I'm paranoid. Let's drag him. That way, if he does wake up, I can continue to work it uninterrupted. All right. Wonder if on the harder difficulties they may actually wake up. All righty. So, go up this way. I remember trying to navigate this as a kid, and I was just like, "What the fuck am I doing?" Okay, that's how to get to bomb. I think it's. I'll go under this way first. Get this. Alright. Crawl along the red pipe. Puts us right where we want to be. Uh, I don't want to be here yet because as soon as I unfreeze this, we're going to have a fucking. Uh, a cutscene. So I'm going to. Double back because I think there's a box in here I'm trying to grab. And I think I have to uh, get in here from the other end to get that box. So I think I'm going to go through here first. Yeah, there's the box. Let's go through here. Climb. I can't climb that way. Is there a way to crawl back the way I was going? Nope, you can't crawl any there. Let me check something. Three, one. Alright, yep, yeah, so I can go back the way I came. Alright! Same problem we had in the, in the tanker chapter. He's got two pistols, one holster. Now, granted, it is a, it, I am nitpicking a PlayStation 2 era game. I admit, I, but like if it was modern graphics, I think what I would do with modern graphics is uh, have him get like a second holster. Alright, so here we go. Cutscene. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, alright. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the Strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five Struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a Strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The Big Shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. It's the thing you acquired from the safe in strut C a little while back. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? 
The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. So I think I'm supposed to go to the bottom of strut. Uh, go to the elevator here, really, I think. I'm going to call uh, Pliska and ask, which I know... Uh, that was something that Derp Stealth Phil kept crying about. Was like, the game never explains anything. That's why you have the codec. <clears throat> right. The odorless C4 should be at the bottom of Strut A. Head to Strut A's bottom level now. See that? See, that's how you break it down. 